What's up, Soul Tribe? This your girl, Dominique, with a path of guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your daily message. Um, I know I still got to put out fire signs, weekend vibes, and I'm definitely going to do it right after this. Just wanted to still put out a daily message for our Friday, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in for the collective Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, please use me as a vessel of queer, concise, channeled messages for the collective, the energies in and around the collective for today, November the 19th, 2021, Spirit. What are the current energies that's coming in for the collective, for the daily vibes? Be bold and make the first move, okay? You want something, go get it and have the confidence to back it up as well, guys. Okay, that's what you're being told. It's like embrace your bold side. Um, again, I'm telling y'all this, I know it's being overused at this point, but I guess I'm trying to drive it home to you guys. Growth wasn't created in comfort zones. Okay, so whatever it is that you want. It's definitely time to go after it. You know what it is that you've been feeling a longing for in your life, no matter what sector in your life that is. But today you're being asked to be bold and make the first move, and you just might. Now, no matter what that is, if that's just like walking into an establishment that you always wanted to have a job at, you know, <laughs> slamming your resume down on the table and saying, you know, I want a job here. I really feel like I'm a good fit. Da -da -da -da, sell yourself, whatever the case is. If you've been crushing on somebody, watching them from a distance, it's time for you to stop waiting for them to make a move. And it's time for you to reach out and make a move out to them. Like, look, you know, I don't know what's going on, but I really think about you a lot. I'm really attracted to you. I really feel like your personality is nice. Whatever the case is, you're being asked to be assertive. You know what I'm saying? Like, be assertive. And if you want something to happen in your life, make it happen. Don't take no for an answer. Don't make excuses for yourself. You know, that's what I'm, I'm seeing right now today. And I'm getting a card in the moon. Okay. So let's see what else is coming in for the collective. see what's coming in for the collective a new start is coming and see because you take because you taking the initiative with this new moon energy you know whatever you want you're calling it in so whatever it is that you take in uh taken by the horns and you just being assertive and you going for it and you embracing your bold and confident side where it's like okay shyness ain't getting me nowhere you know um stand with things that i'm comfortable with it's not creating growth in my life and i'm really tired of stagnancy i'm tired of every year after year passing and me feeling like i'm in the same position and not elevating in life in love you know in my own personal growth, whatever the case is, which, whatever you've been longing for, you're going to be bold and make the first move. If you do, a new start can be coming to you guys. Now, this moon is the full moon in Taurus, okay? So, it's a, a full moon eclipse, okay? So, a lot of things are being cut out of your life. That can be something that you also got to be bold to do in order to gain a new beginning. You know, you might have to make the first move to say you're not happy in something. Hey, I want to put in my two weeks notice. Hey, you know, we ain't vibing no more. I feel like we should go our own separate ways. I just need a couple of weeks. I'm going to stay out the way. I'll sleep on the couch. And, um, you know, I'll be out of your place in the next two weeks. Whatever the case is, it's like be bold, be assertive, and no longer stick yourself in a situation where you feel like it's not conducive to, you know, something new and invigorating and, you know, something that you really want in your life rather than, you know, settling or, you know, just watching something from the sidelines, wishing that it was yours, no matter what it is, you know? So let's see what else is coming in for you guys. So with this new start coming in, you guys could be setting y'all intentions or being bold and making some type of first move. And in the next two weeks, by the time the next moon phase, the new moon comes in, um, the new moon, and I'm, I'm guessing Sagittarius, yeah, we'll be in Sagittarius season by the end. Um... Then by then, you're going to start to see, you know, a new cycle beginning with that, whatever this is that you're going for, okay? So, you know, whatever effort you put in today, you're going to start to see a return on that in the next two weeks, which to me is still very rapid, you know? Don't let your past hold you back. Like I said, some of y'all have to be assertive and actually be real. You know, instead of you passing by people bumping shoulders with them, being more roommates than you are lovers, it's time to let people know, like, you know what, I really 
feel like I'm wasting my quality of life staying in a situation where I don't feel excited anymore. I don't feel excited. I don't feel like you're growing. I don't feel attracted. I'm not motivated. I'm not inspired by this connection. It's just, a, it's a flat line that we just land on. You know what I'm saying? The shit been dead. So it's like, it's time for you to stop being in your South Node. And that don't just have to be relationships. That can be habits, behaviors, just anything that you was doing. I feel like most of us, like that's when our most wild side is like most prevalent when we in our South Node. And it's time to step into your North Node. You guys are realizing that now. You guys are realizing like, okay, I've got enough fun out of this, whatever this is, you know, or I got what I was, it, it gave what it was supposed to gave when it gave it, but it ain't giving shit no more. Okay? <laughs> now say that 10 times fast. It gave what it was supposed to gave when it was supposed to give it, but it ain't giving nothing no more. Okay? Say it and not more. Mo. Okay? So, let's see. What else coming in? What else coming in for the collective spirits? A time to release negativity. Scorpio. Full moon in Scorpio. Now, we in Scorpio season and we in a full moon, but this is the full moon eclipse in Taurus. But how ironic. How ironic that in this season, this day, you are being asked, we are exiting out of Scorpio season. So that means you got a very tiny window, a portal of escape to walk away from this situation before it's probably going to be the turnover and repeat of another cycle. So what you going to do? You going to jump timelines or you going to stay behind? Because I'm getting that this is long overdue. Like I said, it's a negative situation, whatever the past is. And again, it don't matter. Even if it's yourself, even if it's aspects of yourself, your shadow energy, stuff that you need to shed. I see Scorpio as a season sign, you know, that knows how to shed skin. And it's like, Scorpios are typically okay, you know, when it's time for them to shed that, that skin because they know they're going to be all nice, new, and slick again. You know, so it's time for that death and rebirth type of energy. It's time to allow the tower to fall. You know? And again, we're getting that full moon energy. So it's letting me know you ready to eclipse certain things that are just not fitting for you anymore. A lot of you guys could be going through a Saturn return where it was something that was very much your type, your scene, you know, uh, your mood, your vibe, it was like you. It was you to the T. Like, yeah, this is this is where I belong. You know, this is the circle I belong in. This is the relationship I belong in. This is the neighborhood I belong in. This is the job I belong in. I love it. This is just for me. It's a perfect fit. And guess what? Your soul grew. And as it grew and grew and grew, it outgrew something else. And you have to be bold and make the first move when it comes down to having a new start for yourself. You can't have a start without an ending. So you guys have to end the old way of being or any of those things that I just previously named in order to gain something new on an energetic and mundane level or practical level. Okay, so let's see. Woo. A win-win outcome is forecasted, baby. So honestly speaking... You know, sometimes people stay together for convenience. Sometimes people stay together because they feel like um, they ain't going to find nothing better. It looked like both, like if this is a relationship type of situation where you guys are being asked to be bold and like drop something that's no longer like growth inducing for you. It looked like both of y'all going to have a better outcome because it is not like nobody is going to be left suffering. Both people are going to get the best outcome because of this. So that's meaning closing the door to this stagnancy, this stalemate, this, you know, facade is definitely going to open up new opportunities for both of you where you can enjoy fulfillment instead of just um, despondence and, and I don't even know. Like, I'm looking for the word and it's right on the tip of my tongue, but it ain't going to come and I ain't about to sit on it. So let's keep going. All right, but at the end of the day, full moon and Libra. Some of you guys can be Libras. What signs we got here? Scorpio and Libra so far. And that can be in your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. 
Okay, so yeah, you ready to balance out your life. And honestly, this is karmic justice for everybody involved. Whatever you learn from the situation, you learn from it. The energy is expired. And this is even if this is a job. They could have been feeling like, damn, we can't find nobody better than them. And you could have been feeling like, what if, you know, what if I leave this place and I go somewhere else and they pay more, but I don't like my co-workers or it's uncomfortable or whatever the case is thinking the worst having a conscious lack mentality when it comes down to embracing and trusting the unknown and not having fear in the unknown rather than just knowing intuitively you know on an energetic level physical emotional and mental level that whatever this is it's like you're not gaining anything you're not gaining benefit from it no matter what it's not benefiting your health it's not benefiting it's not fulfilling you you know, you don't feel like you're growing. It's just dead. You know, like I said, flatline. When something is over, it's time to let it go. If you don't, spirit will bring the house down. And that's what the tower card is. And I'm getting that that tower going to happen in Scorpio season. Whether you be bold to make the first move, which is probably your best bet, or allow it to be out of your control where spirit is just ripping the rug from, from under you and I'm seeing 11-11. So I feel like whatever you're going towards after this is truly going to be wish fulfillment. You know, it, this could have been something that you've been feeling since the 11-11 portal where you was feeling like, you know what, I need to set my intentions towards better things in my life. Yeah, you got a certain vision when it comes down to the outcome you want in your life. And if you're not getting that in, in a certain circumstance or situation or environment, then you are definitely being asked to be bold and go next level, like, okay, to achieve what it is that you want. Just because you're not achieving something in your current circumstance doesn't mean that it's not achievable. It just means that it's time for you to take steps and make moves to get to where you're trying to go. So Spirit is saying, hold your vision. Don't let your past hold you back. It's time for you to release negativity because there is a new beginning that is a win-win forecast in this situation. But you first have to be bold to make the first move. The end of a tough listen. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. So if you do have a little bit of sadness over this, you'll be over it in next month. You know what I'm saying? Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. All of this is like lining up, y'all. We got Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. So, over the span, and this, this could have been a realization that you made in Libra season, but you just now getting ready to make the move. Because you like, damn, you know, I'm literally here and don't say them. They don't want to be saved. Like, you literally could have been waiting for a situation that was just going to miraculously happen. And Spirit is like, no, <laughs> you got to be bold to make the first move. You want to change? Make that change in your life. You want to tell, you want the end of a cycle to come? Then end it. End it. Or I am. And if, if I catch you off guard, it's going to be worse than you actually planting and planting that seed for yourself. So you being asked to look at the bigger picture. You know, the reason why all of this happened is going to come to you soon. Okay? And it might take for you to actually separate yourself from this environment to truly be able to see what the lesson was in it. Or maybe you already have. But it's like... Everything you need to feel confident about your decision is getting ready to come into play. All right. So, one second, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, let's go ahead and clarify these energies. Then, I'm going to get some advice for you guys. And that's going to be y'all reading. Okay. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, Spirit. Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors. Can you give me some clarification on you? Yeah. Listen, this is as it pertains to a job for a lot of you, okay? Y'all tired, and it's time for you guys to put your ideas out there and create something big and new for yourself. A new start is coming. Yeah. You guys got to get out of y'all head. Y'all got to stop thinking that y'all not ready, that y'all not good enough, okay? I'm definitely getting, again, even though the, the Eight of Pentacles is coming out, I'm still getting at this as it pertains to anything that you should be putting effort to in your life that you want to change, all right? So we just going to keep it open. I don't really want to focus on one sector because I feel like with this being a collective, everybody can be focused on something different. You can be in a completely happy marriage, 
and you could be wanting to change careers or you could be wanting to move to a different state because maybe a lot of trauma happened where you were at or maybe it's a lot of drama at your job. You know, it's a, it's a lot of different things that this can be. But at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be happy that you did. Even though you really didn't even have the faith in yourself to begin with. It's like you are embodying boldness that is definitely... Um, I mean, setting the stage for what's to come for you, you know? So you're going to have something to actually celebrate here. Why is don't let your past hold you back here? Yeah. Okay, so some of you guys, it can be a relationship. And it's like some, you know, it could be travel. You guys aren't telling somebody here that y'all not happy with them. Y'all not. All right. And here we got that tower. It's like, yeah, this is happening like between Scorpio and Sagittarius season. So this is like happening within the next week, guys. Whether you guys decide to do it or not, it's like the angelic realm is stepping in and they definitely like, look at this. The Hierophant is coming out. Okay, so yes, for a lot of you, this can be the end of a toxic marriage, living situation, job. You know, basically it is still open, but spirit got a lot to do with it because we got the temperance and the hierophant here. It's like spirit sending his angels out there like, make it happen because this is over with. Let's go ahead and drop this tower, which I, I already knew that it was going to come out. And it came out on the Scorpio energy because that tower going to happen within Scorpio season or Scorpio, Scorpio Sagittarius. Like, And I feel like it's going to be on a very... Beginning of Sagittarius season, if it does even make it to Sagittarius season. Why is a win-win outcome forecasted here for the collective? Making this final decision, being firm and resolute on your decision to move out, move jobs, get divorced. You know, it's going to be a win-win for both of you, you know, because y'all both are in oppressive situations. Like you were overly worried about like what it is that you good enough for and you know so I do feel like somebody could come off as very like loving or that could be the person that you're going towards for those of you that's going towards a person I think I'm talking to a man here or it could be a woman that's having to be in her masculine energy here but it's like somebody here is going towards a more loving energy and I do feel like it's travel actually involved here you know, or this is just moving on in life. You know, a lot of you guys are not telling y'all, not speaking on y'all next step, which is good. It's all about you. You don't, like, people don't need to know. As long as they know how you feel about their situation, which is, like, unfulfilled, unhappy, you know, you don't have to tell the old job about the new job. You don't. You don't have to tell the old partner about the new partner. You know, just... Let them know how you feel about them, you know, and if you got your eye on somebody that you feel like is loving, nurturing, healing, intuitive, empathic, and you're going towards that individual because I see you traveling towards them. Some, some of you guys can live at a distance, different states, or farther than that, you know. So why is, uh, hold your vision here. Yeah. So even if you leave in a situation behind within the next week or so, um, I do feel like it may take you a little while to kind of get acclimated to whatever new is coming in for you because I'm getting this energy of like taking your time. And for others of you, it's been the past six months to a year that you've been feeling like you want to get up out of a situation where you feel like it's no equal reciprocity, that you and this person just not on the same wavelength or going down the same path in life anymore. Okay. So again, y'all could have had, you could have had a makeup to break up or you could have had a situation where you almost left your job multiple times, but maybe they, oh, we'll, we'll raise your pay or, you know, we'll add an extra day on your vacation. If you just stay a little longer, we need you, whatever. It doesn't matter what area in your life it is, but, you know, whatever makeup to break up situation or whatever, I'm putting in my two-week notice, please don't go, or whatever situation, or, hey, we need to move out this time, hey, I need y'all to stay, y'all the best tennis I had, you, whatever, you know what I'm saying, don't matter what is going on in your life, guys, you are evolving out of something that you feel like you were settling in, it's not fulfilling anymore, you have outgrown the idea of it and the compatibility to it, all right? It's not giving what it's supposed to give no more, all right? So, 
let's get some advice for you guys. I'm going to pull three little simple cards and I'm going to get out y'all hair. Okay. And then I'm going to get out fire signs. We can advise. They take it forever to upload them. That's for one. Take took like five hours to upload a 30 minute video. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some advice for the collective for November the 19th, 2021. Okay, letting go, period. And I feel like you've been avoiding this for some of you up to a year. You've been avoiding leaving somebody, leaving a job, leaving something that you're not happy in. Because this is indicating moving. All right, so somebody is moving. Moving out of a house or moving on from a job. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go, okay? So now you're finally going to be feeling liberated. It might be a scary move to make, but on the other side of this, you and all people involved are going to be in a better position because of it. So technically, you're the hero in a situation. Inner power, you taking back your strength, you being the, the king of your own jungle, the head of your own life. I love lions, guys. I've been being drawn to these majestic, beautiful animals for like the past couple of weeks, just obsessed with documentaries. So whenever I'm not being a productive content creator, that's what I'm doing, obsessing over lions. <laughs> so give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. And yeah, that's what you needed. That's what I mean by be bold. It's like you are summoning your inner power. All right? Yeah. That's right, y'all. So y'all cutting off any fear that you guys created. Y'all cutting that off during this full moon eclipse. That's one of the things y'all eclipsing is fear and this tough cycle. Okay? Okay, so let's get one more. Let's get one more piece of advice. Individuality. Yes, that's right. Like, again, you might have been a part of a crowd, a group, a gang, a, a, a cult, a coven, a, a family, a friend circle. It doesn't matter. But, again, you're embracing your individuality. You're realizing that you're outgrowing certain environments and you're no, you're no longer going to stay small. You know what I'm saying? Just to fit in. You're not going to dim to fit in. Y'all can be a part of that Star Seed Collective. So go ahead and check that reading out. I will leave it linked down below um, in the comment section. Okay, guys? I won't forget. So get yourselves grounded. All right? It says many of, many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. And that's it. It's like you're not... You're not asking the universe for nothing all of grandeur and grandiose grandiosity. You just asking for the simplicity simplicity of life that life grow with you. Like you can't stand still and just watch the world pass you by. You realizing that you're summoning your inner power and you're being bold enough to go after what it is that you really do want. And I'm, I mean, what can I say, y'all? <laughs> that was corny, but whatever. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.